What's good YouTube? It's Asiatic back once again with another comic book haul. I'm with my daughter today. These are my books for 13th of March 2019. But before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys to all the people who support my channel, who subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please continue watching liking sharing and all that good stuff i really appreciate that guys so there's not a lot of book that i purchased this week but there's a lot of goodies so i can't wait to show you guys so let's begin by the way my daughter she loves comics as well she also draw and all stuff like that and i'm here once again on his channel <laughs> yes yeah, so he, she wants to be on on, on the channel so yeah, we will talk to you about the books that I got. So let's begin. Let's start with some new indie books. Um, do you want to read that one then? First is Little Bird. Wow, yes. Little Bird is by Image Comics, um, written by a guy who has a funny name. I don't know his name. Um, it's uh, Darcy Van Folgis. I'm sure I butchered that name. He's an award-winning um, screenwriter, director, a lot of good accolade, and it shows in this book because this is my pick of the week. It's an amazing, amazing storyline. Artwork is really good. Um, like I said, the amazing um, story. First issue is about this um, young rebel fighter who's battle against... Um, the american empire the oppressive american empire it's uh, only a three issue mini series and it's been a solid issue so far if you guys um like that kind of story check this out i really like it this is my pick of the week it's little bird number one amazing amazing art as well so what do we have next sam um? blackbird blackbird number six i don't need to tell you about this one it's amazing i've been reading this so far if you have been um subscribed on my channel you know how i rave on about the art on this one this is jen bartel's art i always try to get it when it comes to jen bartel this cover is by lotte She's also amazing. Um, there's a lot of up up upcoming new um, artists that are that doing a lot of good covers so far. And Blackbird, it's also an amazing storyline. This That is the last um, issue on that story arc, and it starts another story arc on number seven. So if you, you can probably get it on trade now if you're next interested. Up. So next up. I don't know how to read it. Calamity. Kate, this is for Dark Horse Comics, it's number one. So basically the story is this um, woman called Calamity, um, no, Kate, um, Kate Strand, that's her name. And she's tired of her destructive life and she wants to change. So she moved to Los Angeles to become a gun-toting monster killer, total badass. Um, great cover, this is a cover A. Um, like I said, last week Dark Horse have been releasing a lot of good stuff. And this one is no exception, so check it out. Next up is the freeze, it's so four. Freeze issue number four. It's continued to be a great, great book. It's about this guy. He's just an ordinary guy. Well, he thinks he is. Um, there's a power surge trying to, um, and suddenly everyone just freezes. And you know, but the, you know, only him who's you know, uh, moving. And then his power is to unfreeze people. And um, yeah, it's been interesting so far. It's a good book by Dan Wickline. Next up. The Savage, the Savage Shores. Yeah, Savage Shores number um, one. one. So Savage Shores by Vault Comics is an amazing book. It's been really hot. I got all the versions or the variants of this um, number one. So this one, if you can see, it's a signed book. Um, I was last week uh, managed to get it signed by Ram B, which um, he's in um, London and in Brighton as well in the Comic Con. So I managed to get it signed. Here's, Ram B, amazing writer. Here's a hit for the next comic. Her name starts with Cat. Yeah, Cat, Cat Woman. Woman. That's um, Art Germ variant. I just put it here because the guest writer in this one is Ram V as well. This is a one and done um, storyline. Um, he just came 
I think um, took over from the previous writer. I can't remember who the writer was. Um, but yeah, it's amazing read and an amazing cover. Um, normally, I only grab this one because Art Germ does the covers, but the storyline on this one is also good because it's written by Ram V. Next up is, um, I don't know the title, but... Bye. Hmm. By issue number two. This is the third printing, guys. I just took this one because of the cover, actually. I also, I already got the normal first issue, but I was just in love with the cover. It's an amazing cover. And I can't believe how much is this going for now. The issue uh, number one, the Virgin variant, which my daughter is going to show you now. Die issue number one. Yeah, this is the Virgin cover, and this is also signed by Stephanie Hans and um, McKelvey, same person who wrote the Wicked and Divine. And I know you can't see our faces. Yeah, um, this is going crazy on eBay at the moment. I think it's up to a hundred pounds already, and I've seen sales. You know, people are buying it, so it's amazing if you guys Do you can. Think it's going viral. It's not viral, but um, yeah, it's it's been quite a famous book. And um, yeah, it's been amazing read. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. Do you know that? Um, it's no. similar. It's like they're trapped in this world, um, and uh, they have to play a game. So they use the dice. It's not a new book. Uh, I just want to show you this one. I had this one for quite a long time now since it started. Um, this one, it's a story about this family who has this um, daily shop. Um, but as you can see, there's a twist on it. <laughs> yeah, so it's been optioned for a film or a series. Uh, I think it's Amazon, I believe. So if you guys can get this on cover price or a bit cheaper, grab it. Because who knows where is the series going to go. If you guys know, like Umbrella Academy, it's been sick so far. It's been amazing. And there's a lot of, you know, good things about that book. And also this book is good. It's by Aftershock and it's a, a small print run it means like there's not a lot of them out so i have like the four issues so far um it's already in issue five i think but i have i haven't have issue five yet but so far if you guys can get this book so somewhere cheap get it comment down the answer in the comments yeah in the exactly description i mean yes so next up what do we have Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins. This is issue. You can hold that one. This is actually a good book issue that you can two. read. Issue number two. There's the first appearance of, I think it's Gleek, their pet monkey in here. So it's an amazing book. First, I was not sold on this one, but I read it online. I read the first issue. And, then and I why was is like, there a Beast Boy on the cover? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't read that one yet. But like I said, I read issue number one and then I fell in love with it. It's just a fun little book. It's it's really easy read, you know. It's the banter on this one is so good when it comes to the sisters, especially it's like they're coming from a different planet and they don't know nothing about Earth. It's it's kind of interesting uh, take on the twins. And um, yeah, I just got this one. Um, I think I'm gonna continue reading it depends on this one but there's a first appearance here of some um, some different characters and uh, most importantly it's the pet monkey so if you guys watch Carol Danvers uh, Miss Marvel you know there's a uh, there's Chewy um, which is they changed her name but there seems to be a rave about that cat and who knows if they make a film of that you know the monkey might be something could be something big so yeah check it out wonder twins dc so next up is the batman who laughs batman who laughs this is a one and done one shot um this is the cover b of um gabriel de Lotto one um he's a good good artist actually the i like this one actually all the variants on this uh one shots are good but this is the one that i uh, i was in love with i really like his artwork it's just like very clean there's not a lot of like letters on it so it's really a good good um cover and this is the origin of batman who laughs if you don't know who he is he's like a hybrid of um, batman and punisher he's not afraid to use any guns or ammunition or kill people J unlike batman where he still have this compassion um, towards his enemies he doesn't really kill um the the original 
Marvel Batman, but this guy is a total badass. You know, check him out. His first appearance is on Batman Who Laughs number one, written by Scott Snyder. That, for next one. that was released like a few months ago, like last year, and that's I think for the next comic book is Justice. Yeah, and let me just finish this one. Word. Let me just finish that one. Um, yeah, his first appearance on Batman Who Laughs number one. That's a great um, story so far. Um, that one is still going for cover price in a lot of places because there's a lot of prints on that one. If you can get that one, that might be a good book to get if you are into first appearances. Next up. Justice League. Yeah, Justice League. There's also... Uh, issue just, number nine. Yeah, this is issue number nine. Do you know who that is? Um, Wonder Woman. Yes, that's Wonder that's Woman. Easy. That's <laughs> part of the basics. Yeah. So this is issue number one. Um, there's an appearance here of the. Um, ah, I can't remember their name. It's the villains. Um. Um. <sighs> anyway, there's an appearance in here. This is the Clayton Crane's cover. You know, uh, the I it. Uh -huh. I hold it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she just wants to hold it. Yeah, so there's this. Every time Clayton Crane does this cover, so I try to get it instead of the normal cover. But yeah, there's a first appearances here. The Justice League, the normal one that's written by Scott Snyder, it's been up and down for me so far. Um, but this one continues to be a solid book that's why i continue getting it so if you guys are not happy with the justice league that it's out right now check justice league dark mm -hmm. only a few books and another book that i'm not happy with is the amazing spider-man mm -hmm. so i told you guys i think i'm gonna stop on this amazing spider-man but this is <laughs> the new storyline of and new storyline where Craven the Hunter is in. And this is an amazing one. Nick Spencer turned it around in this book. You know, when it comes to like Craven the Hunter, the last time I read about him is it was a long time ago. Uh, and that was a solid book. It's an amazing, sick book. And this is also an amazing book. So, you know, I might just hang on for the story arc on this one i think it's only a three issue um story arc and um yeah i'm happy with this one so far i'm back <laughs> Next top is shuri. i'm back with the amazing spider-man next up is shuri if you don't know what who shuri is he, it's the brother of um black panther sister yeah <laughs> sister of black panther shuri got her own title and this is already issue number six is the first story arc um the last of the uh, story arc is the number six where she gained like a new costume um you know in this one it's been an amazing roller coaster ride story she been to space she met guardians of the galaxy she saw Groot, um, um what they call this rocket raccoon and all those guys um you know um, black panther is still missing on this book superman uh, superman spider-man is there there's a lot of cameos in this book so it's been an amazing read so far and i've been really enjoying it sadly the first story arc is finished and number seven is at the beginning of a new one next up avengers no road home no road home issue number five five so issue number five it could be like a key book because there is a cameo of conan the barbarian at the end so this book has been amazing so far you just do it like that so you can they can also see you <laughs> yeah number five um yeah, it's a cameo of um, Conan the Barbarian. I've been checking the solicitation, the number six. There's a lot of cover for that in the variant, and it could be a key because it's Conan related. So technically, it's Conan the Barbarian's first cameo appearance on Marvel Continuity. I know he's, you know, he used to be in Dark Horse, and then they got him back, and then he's got his self-titled um, um, title. But now... He, him joining the Avengers could be a different story because there's a big deal on that, especially if he's joining the Avengers. Um, yeah, the solicitation for number six, normally Marvel doesn't do a lot of variants in case if it's a premiere or a first issue of a new title or a new book. But issue number six, there's a lot of um, covers for it to be just but a normal event. Six. 
yeah the issue number six is coming so the issue number six guys there's might be something big happening there because yeah don't miss out marvel don't do that they don't do a lot of covers if it's just a normal thing um you know there must be some event that's gonna happen or you know ties into conan that's why it's a big book so try to check out number six uh, that could be a key so but don't quote me just in case because it's it's just a bit odd for me to see um uh, issue number six or to be loads of different covers you know okay next up next up is wolverine the long night issue number three yeah, so issue number three, this book has been amazing for me so far. So this is the adaptation of the podcast. Um, the podcast is amazing. It's very gripping, especially when you hear it. it is, if you hear the, the podcast, wow. That's why, it's a, it's, that's why it won a lot of awards. It's amazing. And the, the read as well is good. If you've been looking for a, a Wolverine book that to get fixated on, this one I think is quite good because The Return of the Wolverine, I know it's been it's finished now. That was not good. Um, Dead Man Logan, you know, up and down. I, ha I also have that book, but for me at the moment, this one, unless, you know, Uncanny Eggman, but... Uncanny X-Men is good. He's there, but obviously that's not like a, a solo story. It's a team, team book. But this one is a self-titled book and it's been amazing. Next up is someone I don't know, but I know her name. Mrs. Marvel, issue number one. Yeah, Miss Marvel, not Mrs. Miss Marvel, issue number one. She's she's amazing, you know. She's she's gonna be big, Sam. You know, she's got good power. She can grow small, I know, grow small, so become <laughs> small, grow grow big, have like long hands, like Elastic Man or Plastic Man. Really, really good. Like she's an inhuman, and yeah, she's going. Um, this one is written by Saladin Ahmed. Um, it's an award-winning writer who's been writing um, uh, Miles Morales so far, and I've been enjoying that. I've been enjoying his writing style. It's good for me, and I really like his style. And this one is no exception. It's a good first issue. Um, the colors in this one, the right, uh, the artwork is really good. Check it out. Um, not a lot of people maybe are a fan of her but i really really like her i you know i picked up the champions because she's the leader of the champions and on that um champion i think it's issue number two um Viv vision and miss marvel died and um miles morales made the deal with mephisto to bring them back to life so i don't know how this tie in on this book if this is a different timeline or a different altogether but you know in that storyline she or she's already dead but she's she's um she's she's been saved by Miles morales basically so and then i think the upcoming champions number three or number four that she'll find out so but this one obviously is a totally different book but i'm just telling you the backstory of the champions one so but i don't know how it's gonna tie in with this next up is the fancy lady fancy lady this is age of conan bielit or belit but say that it's like the way can you hold it babe because there's a like this kind of symbol on her name so it could be belit or bialit or something like that um yeah i wish the artwork inside is the same as the um artwork outside because this is an amazing cover but i'm not complaining the I, I also like the artwork in the interior artwork but it's just totally different from the cover um but the storyline is basically her origins she started um uh, when she was young the story okay. started when she was young with her father and stuff like that trying to learn the ways of a pirate and she wants to become a pirate and she's always obsessed with like sea creatures and monsters and how to hunt them and stuff like that and um if you guys um like this or if you guys like conan um it's not as savage or as dangerous as conan because this is the origin and she's only young she's still learning here but this is the love interest of conan in the old books so if uh and it's been nice for you guys or to learn her origin uh her Please first subscribe to this, to this channel <laughs> her first appearance was um conan the barbarian 58 i think yeah 58 i have the original i still have the 
if you can see there's still a, a price tag there which says 25 cents i have this one for quite a long time um few months ago also have the true believers that came out in it this is her first appearance and who knows guys that she can be big same as red sonia um you know because she also have like you know they're trying to like revive her character so i think they want to do something with her or uh, maybe turn her to this uh, red sonia thing or something but yeah it's it's this is her first appearance so if you like that one bialit is only like a five issue mini series of her origin um yeah it's great first issue so far so yeah next up a pop <laughs> <laughs> apocalypse uh, apocalypse <laughs> <laughs> age of x-man apocalypse and the extracts this is so hippie hipster love with the type vibe uh what? with the apocalypse um yeah age of x-man so like far are, are been amazing this is another title uh what they did is they release every week every Dream different titles and um yeah they've been amazing so far and um i haven't read any of them but i heard good things about them and they all tie in with the uncanny x-man so if you guys have been reading uncanny x-man and then it all the, these titles are tied into what happened there few more books and we're done next up dead man logan dead five. man logan issue number five like i said guys this is up and down book um you know but i'm still on it i'm already invested in it and it's only like seven issue more you know i can't wait to see what happened because i've read dead man logan it's and it been seems it seems forever that uh dead uh, logan is on that state of you know just die already or something but yeah if you guys are looking for uh conan uh, conan uh wolverine book check it out i mean it's not the best book so far but like i said i'm already invested in it i just want to see what happened and i want to just see the conclusion of this book next up is marvelous x-man marvelous x-man like i said this is number two now they start releasing i thought originally these are just one shots but apparently not there's some more books um coming on this age of eggman x-man title and um keep an eye out because they, they've been good so far so last book last it's book finally we got there spider-man slash deadpool um issue 77 47 47 uh i can't believe it's been about two or three years now this book i remember the first okay, issue now. number one when i read it and I, I haven't read it after that but yeah it's been amazing so far this there's the first appearance of the manipulator here so if you guys are into first appearance check it out the manipulator the cover solicitation cover 49 is gonna be manipulator on the cover i think but this is the full um appearance so check it out if you're into that but yeah it's it's amazing that it got this far this book but it's a funny read you know it's crazy if you guys are a deadpool fan and spider-man anyway that's it guys thank you so much um for watching i hope you like that episode um we just changed it up a little bit now we got our space back if you guys remember i've been telling you that we've been renovating our place and now we got the space so i can actually film now in the living room instead of the bedroom but anyway hopefully guys you enjoyed it thank you so much and remember to just subscribe comment and share and like thank you guys say bye Peace, guys. Assistant out. <laughs>